Okay, today we're going to be looking at the um, factor theorem. Um, so, previously we've been looking at, at how to do division of polynomials. So let's consider the example we looked at in the last lesson. We had um, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x plus 6. And we found that it was divisible by x minus 2 and there was no remainder. So this tells us that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. So we can write x cubed plus 2x squared oops, minus 11x plus 6 is equal to x minus 2 and then we had x squared plus 4x minus 3. That was all in the last lesson. Now, let's say that our polynomial, this here is our polynomial, and we're going to call it p of x. And um, this is the quotient, and we're going to call this q of x. Now, if we have a polynomial, p of x, this is a general polynomial, not specifically this one, um, and it has a factor x minus c, where c is some constant term, um, and its quotient is q of x. If x equals c, then p of c equals zero. Um, this is the factor theorem. Miss out an e in there. Theorem. And it makes sense because so if x equals c, c minus c is zero, p of it p of c will be zero. And if we were to put in in here um, p of the factor here is two, p of two, we'd get two cubed plus two times four minus eleven times two plus six. Working all that out we would get zero. So this only works when um, that when when x of c is a factor and there's no remainder. Now we can extend this. If for a polynomial p of x if p of a over b equals 0, then a of x minus b is a factor of p of x. And we, we can use this for, um, we can use this to work out, um, we can work, we use this to, to actually fully factorise um, these polynomials. So for example, in this example, if x equals 2 over 3, then this here would be 2 over 3 cubed plus 2, oops, 2, then 2 over 3 squared minus 11, 2 over 3, um, <coughs> plus 6. And then if you work that all out, it is equal to 0. Hence, because of the factor theorem, um, well, a here is 3, so we'd have 3x and b is 2, minus 2 is a factor.
of this polynomial. Now let's um, let's do some examples with the factor theorem. So we're going to use the factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 16x plus 3. So we're going to make this equal to f of x. So f of 3 is going to be 3 cubed plus 2 times, that's going to be 4, minus 16, oops, times 3 plus 3. If you work all that out, you will get 0. <coughs> Therefore, x minus 3 must be a factor of this polynomial. Let's do something a bit more tricky. So we're given, oops, we're given that 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 is a factor of 3x cubed plus 17x squared plus ax plus b. And we want to find A and B. So we're going to have f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 17x squared plus 7x plus B. And for, what we're going to do is factorise this. So 3x squared plus 7x minus 2. Now, if we factorise that, the um, the factorisation will be, we'll then find two other factors of f of x. So factorising this, we get 3x minus 1 and x plus 2. So it's obvious that, that, that x plus 2 and 3x minus 1 must be factors of this. So if we look, um, let's take 3x minus 1 and let's find out what f of 1 third is. So it's going to be um, 3 times a third cubed plus 17 a third squared plus a over 3 plus b. And if we do all the maths and simplify all that down, we're going to end up with a plus 3b equals minus 6. And we're going to call this equation 1 because we're going to end up doing a simultaneous equation. So let's now take x plus 2 and we're going to find f of, now that's a plus, so this is going to be f of minus 2. And if we substitute all that in, I won't do all the, the working for it, we'll end up with 2a minus b equal to 44. And that's going to be equation 2. So we're going to take, let's write these beside each other. So a plus 3b equals minus 6. And 2a minus b equal to 44. So we're going to multiply the second equation by two, by 3 and then we're going to add them. So that's going to give us 6a Um, we'll, we'll just, then we're going to add. 
So that's going to give us um, 7a equals 126 because the b is there. If you multiply this through, we're going to get minus 3b. 3b plus minus 3b is going to cancel out, so that's what we'll end up with, um, with, with just the a's. So a then works out at 18. We're going to substitute this back in to equation 2 and that's going to give us b equal to minus 8. So now we've got our polynomial f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 17x squared plus now a was 18, 18 x and b was minus 8, minus 8. Now, now that we've got this, we want to um, hence fully factorise. So what we're going to do is we will... <coughs> I shall do it on a new, a new sheet. Um, so we'll write our polynomial in here. So we've got 3x squared plus 17x squared plus 18x minus 8. And we've got 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Now, we're going to get rid of the x squared. So we're going to multiply, we're going to put an x here because x times What's x cubed? Sorry. x times x squared is going to give us the x cubed. So we'll have here 3x cubed um, plus 5x squared minus 2x. And we're going to take away. So that's going to be 0. That's going to be 15 take away 5, which is going to be um, 12x squared minus and a minus is going to be plus, that's going to give us plus 20x. Um, now here, we've got a 12 here, we've got a 3 here, so we've got a 4 here. It's going to be plus 4, because 4 times 3 is going to be 12. So then we're going to have the, I'm just putting the, the, the minus sign here for the substitution, but that is going to be 4 times 3 is going to be plus 12 x squared and then we're going to have plus well it's got a minus 8 here um, plus 20 x and then that's going to be minus 8 4 times 2 is 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 so that's going to be 0 that's going to be 0 and then we've got our minus there minus and a minus turns into a positive so that's then going to be zero. So we have um, our other our another factor. So we've got three x cubed plus seventeen x squared plus eighteen x minus eight is going to be equal to x plus four. And previously we factorised this. Um, in the first half of the question, so we had 3x minus 1 and we had x plus 2. So that's the full factorisation of that problem. Let's look at another question. So we've got x cubed plus 4x squared minus 19x plus 14 equals 0 and we want to solve it. So let's think about our constant term here. If you think about when we factorise um, something, the the numbers, um, the constant terms will multiply together to give us this, this term at the end of our polynomial. So let's consider the positive and negative 
factors of 14. We need the positive and negative ones. For example, if you were to multiply um, minus 14 by minus 1, you would get positive 14. That's why you need the positive and negative factors. So these will be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 7, and plus or minus 14. Now, we know that when x minus c is a factor, when x equals c, f of c will equal 0. So that's our factor theorem. So we're going to take, we're going to just, uh, to begin this, to begin with, with trying to find what would be our first factor, we're just going to use trial and error. So we're going to pick the simplest of these factors and see if it works. So we're going to do f of 1. And we're going to substitute it back into here. So we've got 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared minus 19 times 1 plus 14. And if you do all that, you get 0. So that tells us that x minus 1 is a factor. Now, we'll try... 2, f of 2. If you do all that again, you'll find indeed that is 0, so that is a factor. So x minus 2 is a factor. Now you could do that with all of these um, factors of 14, but there's 8 of them and it's going to take you a wee bit of time. So what we can then do here is we can do long division. So we'll take x minus 1. And we will divide it into our polynomial. So we're going to have um, x squared, x squared minus x cubed. Um, we'll, I'll do the working out here. Just so, I don't, so you don't get tripped up. So that's going to be x cubed minus x squared substitute um subtract that so we'll then get that's going to be zero and that's going to be um 5x squared and then this just comes down then we want we need a 5x up here so we can get rid of that so it's going to be plus 5x so 5x, x minus 1, 5x squared minus 5x. Put this down here, 5x squared minus 5x. Subtract, that. get rid of that. And we'll get um, minus 19 minus plus, minus minus is plus. Um, so that's going to be four, minus 14x and that's plus 14. And then here we need to get rid of this, so we want that to be um, so we're minus 14 here, so that's going to give us, oh we have to carry it over here, so wait a minute, minus 14, four, x minus 1 is going to be minus 14x plus 14, now if you put it down here we'll have minus 14x plus 14, then we're taking that away and that equals 0. So this is our other factor. So if we take x squared plus 5x minus 14, and now we factorise that, we will indeed get x minus 2, and we'll get x plus, so, plus 7, and therefore the... Um, x cubed plus 14x squared minus 19x plus 14 fully factorised will be the x minus 1 that we've got here, our x minus 2 which we've got not only from doing our long division and then factorising but we also worked out from this part here and our third factor is x plus 7.
Um, and when you're factorizing a quadratic, not a quadratic, um, a cubic function, you're going to have these three terms. There won't be two and there won't be four. There'll be three because when you multiply the x's, you then get your x cubed. So I hope that makes sense.